Hi everyone and welcome back and here we are talking about react.js with the typescript and we are on the section 1 and in the first section we are talking about react fundamentals okay so what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, sandbox here you can create sandbox and different kind of sandbox you can create like you can create react typescript, vanilla typescript, Vue.js application, angular a uh, basic node.js HTTP server or you can also create a next JS applications right so what I did is I created a vanilla typescript application this will help us to play around with the typescript and we will also learn about what is typescript how we are using it and why we should use it there is already a typescript focused course on my youtube channel if you want to learn more about typescript here we are not going to talk in depth about TypeScript because this particular course doesn't require a TypeScript expertise. You just need to know okay, the basic things about TypeScript, how to use it, how to define the types, how to define the interface, all these things you just need to know. Okay, and how the compilation happens when you are using TypeScript with React. Okay, so let's come to this topic. You might have used Babel with the Babel RC file, SQLize with the SQLize RC file, all the all set of libraries always use some kind of a configurations like angular cli use angular.json right like dot env module look for dot env file similarly the typescript typescript is a superset of javascript whatever we are writing es6 es7 es8 typescript is superset is on top of everything it is providing the type definitions for your javascript code which you cannot compile directly on the browser first you need to compile it with the typescript compiler tsc okay then only you should be able to execute that code on the browser okay currently we are not writing es5 we are using es6 features es7 es8 and and further we are using those and when we use those uh, with the typescript we you need to have a typescript as a compiler which can compile the typescript code back to the es5 so what we are doing here, you can see this is just a code sandbox, but when you do it simply, what we do is we, in the package.json, we include TypeScript as a module and we write an npm script TSC. Here we include, uh, I will just write it, like here we can have a compile. And what we do with the compile, we just execute TSC. Okay, what this TSC will do? TSC will look for the TypeScript compiler, okay, and in the TS config, in the TS config, it will look for what needs to be compiled, okay. So TypeScript compiler will look for the TS config, and TS config will give you the options. Okay, what is the input? What is the output directory? What what is the module res resolution? What all library should I use, right? If you want to say, okay, I have a lot of TypeScript files, I wanted to create a build in the outside folder, in the dist folder. All the other parameters here, like the, the compiler options, if you see the compiler options has a lot of all different other options, like out dir. So what it will do is it will give you the option, okay, once the build is done, what should be the output file? But here we are going to talk about simple code snippets, which will have a single file. We don't need to provide output dir. dir because we are not really executing the whole applications we are going to write a simple simple files root directory means this is the folder where you need to look into and start compiling whenever you get a instruction to compile right source map whenever you are compiling the typescript to the es5 do you want to generate a source map okay the module is we are using common js modules once the compilation is done the common js modules will be retrieved okay so these are all different options we can also talk about uh, all the different compiler options inside ts config so whenever we are executing tsc command what it will do it will look for ts config file it will look okay this is the source directory and this is how i'm going to compile in the common just module setup it will give you the output file okay here it, this is just a code sandbox what we will go do is we will play around with this index.ts file here we will write typescript code and indirectly it is getting converted and compiled we can also have the same setup but our main focus is not to 
do the TypeScript but use TypeScript with the ReactJS. Here we will just understand what is the enum, what is the, the interface, what is the types. All these things in our application which we are going to use. So what we are going to do is, let's say this is a simple code, right? Now what all things we can write in the TypeScript? You can actually create a lot of things, right? You can create a union types. Okay, when I say union types, okay, you, let's say you are creating the control, type control of type textbooks, right? And you are creating a new variable nodes of type control. This control can have only text box, right? So if you see, type drop down is not assignable to type text box, right? That means you can only assign text box to it, right? So this is how we are doing the typings. Typings can be done on the variable, on whatever you are returning from a particular function. There also you can define a type. You can also define type on the past argument to a function, right? So there are a lot of reasons why should we use TypeScript because TypeScript is giving you an opportunity to define the types and it is helping you to do the static typing, type checking. Let's say simple example. This is the function, okay? We don't know what product is going to have when we are calling this function. Is it going to have a price or it is going to have a currency? We don't know, right? So there may be, there is no type defined for the product. This is like, okay, it can be an object. We are trying to access price. Quantity might be of type number, must be of type number because we are doing a multiplication. Discount should also be of type number. But consider when you are calling these functions and you're not providing the proper types, then we may be in trouble, right? So what is the fix for this? The fix for this is you define the types. So here, what we can do is we can de define the interface. I product. Okay, inside I product I can define. Okay, in this product I'm going to have a name and price. Okay, so how do we define the interface? Interface, interface name. The name is of type string and price. Price is of type string, sorry, number. Right now I can, I can, I can pass, okay, product is of type I product and quantity is of type number. and discount is also of type number. Now, let's say if I'm trying to access is price number or something else, then it will give me the compile time error that is saying, okay, product is of type I product and there is nothing like price number there. There is only a property price. So these things will help us to, to get the errors early, right? So here we have defined I, uh, I product, let's say if you're trying to access any other property here, then that is a trouble, right? If you are saying, okay, this price is also of type string, then you will get a trouble, right? Because the price is of type number, you are trying to assign, you are trying to assign a string to a number. That's why it is a compile time error. Now, if I'm trying to call this function, then I need to maintain the relationships, okay? Okay, this is an object which will have a name and the price. This is the first argument. Another argument is quantity, discount is quantity. This works fine, but if you try to change the type anywhere, then it become a problem, right? Because TypeScript compiler will say, okay, you are violating the condition by passing a string for a number. Here also, this is fine because here it is a number, this is a number. TypeScript does auto type cast sometimes, but here it's totally a mismatch, right? We are explicitly passing string to a number, right? So these things can be caught at the compile time means while coding, while writing the code. Okay, you might be passing this property somewhere. In the React component, you are, you are using the props and in the props, you might be passing a string to a number, a number to a string that will give you the warning there itself so you can correct it, okay? So this, these are the advantages of using TypeScript on, in your application that you will won't get all these kind of errors. You will catch them early and these all are types. 
product i product so you can create an interface you can create a type like type uh, some type and inside this type you can define okay this type is going to have these many properties you can create an interface you can create a classes all these things are there so it is like we can create a object oriented kind of thing where each and every property has a type javascript is like uh, dynamic typing means you assign a variable like uh, var x is 10 in the next line you can say okay var x is a string this is possible right because here i'm writing a typescript file if we change it to js then it, this is possible right so these things are possible to avoid this what we do is we, we just say var x is of type number now you cannot assign string is not assignable to type number this is what typing does here also what we are getting we are getting a number so we can also set okay this function is giving me the number now if you try to return something which is not number if you try to return a string this is violation right string is not assignable to type number let's say you are returning a promise promise of type number then this really is not returning a promise number is not assignable to a promise number what you can do is you can convert this into a sync function uh, it should be a sync function and then function name this is fine now this function is returning a promise right either you can do it like this or you can say promise dot resolve this is same we don't need to wrap it around a promise if because promise is representing some value it can be a normal value or you can just uh, wrap it inside a promise dot resolve okay because a promise number it can be a simple number also which we are saying by removing this promise wrapper okay so what we will do is we will we are going to use a lot of these examples and we will try to see you might have seen the type any that means you can pass anything but this is really dangerous right because product is expecting price and you are saying product can be anything and i'm just passing nothing i'm just passing okay null right and that is being compiled because you are saying product is of type any yes null is also null can be assigned and it will break when you run it right because you are trying to access price from the nullable pro product property so and you can also pass a lot of things okay this is of type i product or it can be of another type let's say we are also allowing null so you can actually do a pipe and define this can also be passed as a null or this can be passed as a product object okay so we will see more examples what are the advantages of using typescript in your code we will see interface types guards generics modules okay some map types all these things in the coming example.